Today we are going to talk about the calcification of the placenta. It is a very common occurrence that occurs in some pregnancies. Usually this happens in the third semester of pregnancy, which is done at the moment that they realize an ultrasound. Some doctors may comment that the placenta is calcified. This could be a, a very uh, scaring occurrence to the patient. The placenta, which we must remind you, is the means by which the baby is given nutrients, such as glucose, oxygen, from the mother, and this usually happens in the first four weeks until the end of the pregnancy. The fact that a placenta will be calcified does not really mean that the placenta is not working, working properly. Whenever we realize an ultrasound, we evaluate the level of maturity of the placenta based on a scale, the scale of granum. The scale, which at level 3 is the most mature, is where we will be able to observe various uh, deposits of calcium. This scale helps us evaluate how mature the placenta is, and it is always very necessary to correlate this information with the weeks of gestation, with how many weeks also from the last date of menstruation, and correlate all this information with the weeks of gestation from measurements taken beforehand with an ultrasound. All of this data should really correlate with each other in order for it to really develop the level of maturity of the placenta. In a certain form, we can say that from week 36 onwards, it is, will be very normal to find calcifications, as whenever a pregnancy continues, there will be an increase. And anytime there is any doubts, it is very important that you go to your gynecologist. It is very vital that you utilize other studies, such as example, a Doppler ultrasound or any test without stress or with stress in order to evaluate if the placenta is doing well. If you have any problems and won't tolerate the breathing process, it is thought that these tests that we can comment to the patient if the placenta is no longer functioning properly or not. But it's very important to explain that whenever we mention a calcified placenta, we can't mention to the patient that the placenta is no longer functioning fully. Or if this is a motivation for a cesarean operation. So if any of this has ever happened to you, do not worry. Could your gynecologist have them do a test of fetal wellness in case of any doubts or of the well-being of your baby? If there are any associated risk in order for you to take more confidence in knowing that the pregnancy will fully develop and have a happy ending we hope this was a useful video for you make sure to like subscribe and comment below